I don't know. As I say, we don't really keep many secrets, but uh, yeah, maybe we should have done a car swap. It would be fun. <laughs> kind of try Pato's car and see how that feels. I feel like his car is spicy for sure. So Freak Nation, Pato Award, Fidus Rosenquist joining us here in the Freak Nation. Rosenquist sitting in the pole for the IndyCar race at Texas. But here's a question for both of you dudes. We had Alexander Rossi by himself. Uh, is it is it the fact that he's such an old dude that one of you guys want to come in and interview with him, or is it that, or is it the fact that he just said, "Look, listen, man, I don't want to pal around with one of you guys." Um, it's it's a very busy schedule. One guy's over here, one over here, one over here. Felix and I were close to each other in terms of where we had to go. Uh, entertained some sweets that we have. <laughs> So that's probably why. He's that's the like, we don't we don't really like Alex. So we 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 just excluded. You three drivers in the top five where you're thousands of seconds apart. Well Paddle, what is it that Rosenquist did to grab the pole that you couldn't do to grab the pole, even being so close? Do you want the real answer? Yeah, I want the real answer. Uh two words, brake drag. <laughs> How do you fix that problem? I mean, well, I can't fix that. Team can. I'm sure they will. My race car's good. I'm not worried. Okay. That's all that matters then. Yeah, that's all that matters. You had a parts issue last year, Rosenquist, so is your car good? Yeah, I think so. It feels good. Uh, it's uh, been good all day. Uh, I think every time we come here to Texas, it's just fantastic. And uh, our team has just been building a very solid base. So I think that helps when you roll off good. And you can just kind of look back a little bit last year and, and, and try to do the same, but improve a little bit. So, yeah, it's been a fairly smooth day. Smooth day. But uh, yeah, tomorrow is a different day. It's, uh, it's race day. You take car maintenance seriously and you want to pass on that legacy of care. Use Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer to shield your engine from excessive heat, debris, and friction. Trust Lucas Oil, it works. You talked to the press room earlier about how tomorrow racing might get spicy. Practice was maybe just a little bit boring, but why would it get spicy? What's the difference between practice versus race? Well, basically, that uh, second lane has opened up officially, I think, uh, more than, than any time we've been here. It, you know, we can run too wide now, both ends. So that, that's huge for the race. And I think that's just going to spice it up a lot. You know, uh, being able to go too wide, it's just a uh, completely different nature of how you race. Uh, last couple of years have been kind of single fire race, but you've been able to make a move, but it's been like a mega commitment to pass someone. And now you're gonna, just going to be able to pass people easier. So I think that's good for the show. Okay, what happens when Pato comes up on you? We play nice with each other. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> nah, we're teammates. We need a... Uh, we both obviously want to be championship contenders. Um, I think, you know, the elephant in the room is don't be stupid. Um, so, we all have a strong car. Um, you know, both Felix and I and Alex. So, I think it's just all about executing and you know, I'm sure not everybody's going to be the exact same strategy. So I think that's going to be the biggest player tomorrow because we've never, like Felix said, we've never had these two lanes open up. And I think that moves, moves stuff around in terms of like you always take track position, but now you do have the opportunity to get by people. So like maybe you pick tires instead of track position. So I think that's where people are going to start flipping coins. Do you guys have a stupid meter in the, with the team? Like you and and Alex, who goes to the stupid trailer the more the most throughout the season? Uh, I think it's more of a gentleman's agreement, but not just us. No, I would I would tap that. Trail, trail. Oh, just who makes dumb moves throughout the year? Clearly, we're talking about something serious. You know, we're talking about racing, but to make things fun back at the shop, that was your fault, dude. I mean, you guys can totally talk trash with each other with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we screw up too much. Uh, <laughs> don't jinx yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I just think it's a big gentleman's agreement, not just be between all of us, but everybody on track, because uh, the the consequences are very bad. If someone doesn't understand how quick we're going, I mean, especially now with the second lane opening up, like you make a little mistake, it's gonna be a massive shunt. You don't want that, so.
the two of you, Felix Rosenquist and Pato Award, uh, IndyCar, th the McLaren team has three drivers in the top five, started the race. And uh, is the IndyCar program becoming more important than the F1 program or just as important as the F1 program? The F1 program is having problems, but it seems like the IndyCar program has figured a lot of things out. I mean, it's every team is important, right? I don't think one is more important than the other one. I think Formula E is also as important as IndyCar and Formula One. So it's um, there's obviously teams in each. It's not like we are all one team. We're all one big group. We're under the same umbrella, but everybody's got their their core, you know, and everybody tries to maximize what they've got and uh, keep developing. I mean, it's also the the top level of the sport in both ends, you know, so you're not going to have, you're not going to win every year, you know, some years going to be tougher, some years going to be easier, and it's just the way it goes when you're at the top level playing with the big dogs, so um, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I'm sure things are going to look very, pretty different in a couple of months. The It's amazing, I'm looking at the McLaren Orange, and go back to the old Can-Am days when Bruce McLaren would show Denny Holm around the track and then they would swap and Holm would get the pole and uh, uh, McLaren would be beside him. Uh, Felix, you didn't show anybody around the track. You kept all that special line to yourself, it would seem. And that's how you ended up with the pole. Am I guessing right? I don't know. As I say, we don't really keep many secrets, but uh, yeah, maybe we should have done a car swap. It'll be fun. Can I try Pato's car and see how that feels? I feel like his car is spicy for sure. <laughs> it's all about spicy this weekend. I'm loving it. Yeah. I can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Freak Nation, Pato Award, Felix Rosenquist, McLaren team, flying those Lucas Oil colors here in the Lucas Oil Studios. Guys, guys, thanks for doing this, man. Go go about your business and go finish up all this happy ass interviews you got throughout the <laughs> afternoon. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. See you guys. Show tomorrow. <laughs> The Bomberito Automotive Group 500 at Worldwide Technology Raceway is not just a race. It's a spectacle. It's time to mark your calendar. Saturday, August 26th and Sunday, August 27th. 2023 is bigger and better than ever before. Get ready for the wildest festival of speed in the Midwest. Go to www.raceway.com now because the first deal is the best deal.